If this video hits 10 likes, I will make a diss track on Todd Howard. Guys, if you want to see the diss track, make sure to leave a like on this video and I will release a diss track on Todd Howard. Fallout 76 versus Fallout 4. Am I the only one who thinks Fallout 76 is such a great game? <coughs> Just kidding guys. Fallout 76 is literally the worst game ever made. And we're gonna be talking about why this game sucks and is inferior to Fallout 4. I believe, and I'm sure many of you can agree, on the fact that the entire reputation of Fallout as a franchise has been destroyed by this new Fallout 76 game. All these new people coming over to Fallout and playing Fallout 76 for the very first time are gonna think that Fallout is just a stupid game just like Fallout 76 and they're not gonna even consider the next Fallout game which is gonna be Fallout 5 and they're not gonna even bother with playing Fallout 4 because Fallout 76 is such a bad game and these people are automatically gonna assume that this is what Fallout 4 is. This is what Fallout 5 is gonna be like. Screw you. Screw you, Todd Howard, for being such an idiot. How could you let this happen to the best franchise in video game history? If you think Fallout 76 is just a stupid game, make sure to leave a like on this video and show your support for the worst game ever. Now, let's start with the comparison of Fallout 4 and Fallout 76 right here, right now, with the first one being the fact that this is something that I live by and and I believe that every game should have this. And this is the reason why Bethesda games are so different from the, all the other games. Is the fact that Bethesda games and Fallout has cheat codes. Also known as console commands. And in Fallout 76, they completely ignored that. And we don't have cheat codes in the game anymore. And that sucks. And I know that cheat codes aren't for everyone. But for me personally, as a gamer, as a human being who eats vegetables on a daily basis, this is something that I live by and I need cheat codes in the game. I don't want to go out and hunt for the strongest weapon in the game. I just want to press a few buttons and get the game for free. I mean, get the gun for free. I don't want to do all these pesky little adventures i just want things right off the bat because i do not have the patience in video games and now when i play fallout 76 it's so dumb i mean i've been playing the game and then all of a sudden enemy attacks me i'm so low on health i need stim packs and then i'm super low on stim packs i'm down to my last one and i'm almost about to die and this is the point when fallout 4 where i would enter the chica cheat code and get the stim packs but now i can't do that so this is like literally the dumbest thing ever made. Now that's the first deadly sin that they have committed in this new Fallout game. And let's talk about the next one. As you already know, Fallout 76 is an online only experience with many, many people on the map. Well, I think it's like 10 people on the map. But what's the point of having all these people on the map if every time you go up to them, they don't do anything. They don't interact with you at all. They just mind their own business. They just play their own experience separate from your experience. What's the point of that? And why is this actually happening only in Fallout 76? And the reason for this is quite simple. These people, they don't want to be in your group and play together. They don't want to uh, trade. They don't want to interact or talk with you at all. All they want to do is mind their own business, right? The reason for this, <laughs> guys, the reason for this is because all these people are coming from Fallout 4 and they're dumped into Fallout 76 now and they're not multiplayer gamers. That's right. They do not like multiplayer games. So you're stuck with these group of people who are on your map that they don't care about you. They don't care about anyone. They just care about themselves and their solo gameplay that they know and love and you're stuck with this dead wasteland with no NPCs in the game. And that brings me to my next point, which is no NPCs in the game. <laughs> That's right, guys. No NPCs in a Fallout game? That actually happened. That happens in Fallout 76. Someone please tell me the reasoning behind having no human NPCs in the game. Because now we're stuck with these lifeless, boring robots that just do stupid things. You, you try to talk to them and have an intellectual conversation with them. And all they spit out is dumb bars. They don't even spit out bars. They're just like, hello. 
Yes, go over here and do this, yes. I remember playing Fallout 4 and having these cool conversations that were super deep and I wanted to know more. And now it's just like robots? <laughs> There's no more cool things that you can do in the game anymore. There's no more impact that you would have. I mean, Fallout 4 is all about having an impact in the world and the choices that you make. In this game, there's no such thing. There's no such thing as that. You can't be the most coolest guy in the wasteland anymore. I remember when Fallout 3 first came out and me and my friend went to the GameStop and we got uh, Fallout 3 right, right then and there. And we went home, we were on the phone and everything. And and then we were talking uh, about being super strong. And then my friend was like, hey, you know, we just started the game, right? We just started the game like 10 minutes ago. But guess what? We can actually get the best power armor right at the start of the game. And I was like, wait, really? We can become super strong right at the start of the game? And we can wear the power armor? And I was super excited. And he said, yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, you gotta go over here. And then we went on these mountains. We maneuvered our bodies all over the map and everything. And then we got the power armor right at the start of the game. And we got into the power armor and we were super, super strong. Now we can't do that. You have to be a certain level to get into the power armor and you have all these restrictions that kind of limit you in what you can actually do in the game. Follow is supposed to be all about having the freedom in the wasteland and now you don't have that freedom anymore. You are locked into place and the game decides on where you can be in a certain level. I want to be the demise of my own god and do what I please in my game because it's my wasteland and I can do I should be able to do whatever I want, but I can't. Not in Fallout 76. Not only that, but now you actually have to do slave work in the game. That's right. Um, while you're playing the game, you have to feed yourself some food and you have to drink some water and keep hydrated. I never asked for this. Nobody asked for this, okay? This was not a thing. I did not want this. So why am I being forced to feed myself some, some water and some food, okay? I mean, I could understand if it was just a little bit like every few hours you have to like feed yourself but you gotta do it like freaking every 10 minutes you gotta feed yourself that's ridiculous i don't have the time man i don't have the time to go out and find some food and find some water it's just not my style i don't want to do this so i find myself with super low ap because that's what happens when you're low on uh, hydration levels or food levels you lose ap and you can't really run that much and then eventually what happens is you pass out and you die you die and it's just like what what now you have to respawn again and now what do you have to do you gotta not do your quest that you were supposed to do and that you wanted to do you can't do that anymore because now you have to go out and scout for some water for some food and it's just slave work I'm not a slave. I'm not a slave. I'm not I don't want to be a slave in the game. I'd say the coolest part about this game is fighting the Scorch Beast as a team because it's a super high level and it takes a bunch of people to actually defeat the thing. And that's cool and all, but it's just like why would you even do this in Fallout 76 when you can find a better game that does it a hundred times better and it's called monster hunter world that game uh nails it with fighting giant monsters and with a team a group together with their friends cooperatively that game nails it but this game it's just like yeah it's there it's fun but it's like, why would you uh, invest your time in this game when you can find a better game that does it 100 times better, am I right? At the end of the day, we all know why Fallout 76 exists. It's because of the atomic shop and the paywall behind it. And if you look at it from a business standpoint, I guess that's okay. I guess that's good. That's good overall for Bethesda because the next game, um, what's it called? Starfield? It's going to be Starfield. Well, that game better be good. You know why? Because people, the 12 year olds, are giving you guys money for the stupid outfits that should be in the game for free, but now it's behind the paywall. That money 
It may better make Fallout 5 and Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield, the next game, a masterpiece because we expect good things from you. We are giving you guys money and you guys should better give us a good, good game. Okay? I'm sick and tired of you. I'm sick and tired of this game.